This Let's Play was supported by these awesome hobby companies. Hey everybody, it's Ryan here. I'm joined by Jerry. Hola. And today we are going to be playing the Batman miniatures game from Night Models. Yes. Now this is very specifically the Dark Knight Rises uh, set that we're playing with. So we've got Talia al Ghul, Bane, Batman of course, and Catwoman. Yes. But we will be playing one of the first scenarios with, between the GCPD and the mercenaries. Yeah. So uh, you're playing as the mercenaries? I'm playing as the mercenaries, Bassard and Bassard. Uh, Caesar and Burgess. Excellent, Bassard, never to be mispronounced, I'm sure. Never to be yeah, mispronounced. Definitely. No, no. No, espe no, especially not when you're rolling ones or twos or no. whatever. Yeah. None of that at yeah. any time. That's it. And I've got a kind of, uh, what shall we say, underpowered GCPD. So I've got a guy with uh, pepper spray uh, and one policewoman with a gun. That's about it. They've got batons. Yeah, th yeah. There was a reason they ended up in a pet in the Dark Knight Rises. Yes, there's, yes. Yeah. yeah I'm not saying, they're not underperforming, they're just JCPD cops. <laughs> that's, that's all there is. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. So uh, what we're trying to do in this uh, game is we have uh, deployed four inches from the, uh, each side of the board. Uh, your guys, because they're walking around with assault rifles, you need to do a lot more damage to my guys. Yeah. So you're looking to do eight damage in total, yeah. and I'm looking to do four damage, so with my lighter weapons. Yeah, so, so. This, is, this is the first training scenario for uh, the Dark Knight Rises, which teaches you combat, essentially. Yeah. Uh, it's one of the reasons why we've just got cops and mercs, and yeah. not heroes. Yeah. Because when you start introducing the heroes, there's a whole other barrel of stuff to learn. Yeah. Um, so we thought we'd, we'd start off with the, the basic game, see how that goes, give people a, mm -hmm. an idea of that. And if it's something you fancy giving a try, the entire rulebook is available as a free download on the Night mm -hmm. Models website. So yeah. it comes in two chunks, the rules and then the um, compendium. Mm -hmm. But it's it, it's the same, it's exactly the same as what you would buy off the, the website. So yeah. anyway, so yeah. Fantastic, okay, mm -hmm. so what's our first step then? So the first thing is we have I should show you these for novelty value. Uh, we have some of these here. So little B and, and Batman symbols. There's three of each in this mm -hmm. bag. Mm -hmm. And this is the raise the plan mm -hmm. phase. Uh, this is also a turn counter. So when we empty the bag, that's the last turn. Mm -hmm. We start by seeing who gets the choice. And in this case, it's you. Do you Fantastic. want to go? First or second with your allocation? Uh, I will go second. Second, second okay. Second, yeah. Right, see what I'm going to do first. Mm -hmm. Might work, might not, because my mercenaries are also veterans and they get to flip sort of stuff around. So um, I have five action points per guy. You've got one poor fella in the middle there with only four action points. Yes, yeah, so we've been joking that he's the guy that's one day from retirement. One day from retirement. Yeah. Let's hope he doesn't get repeatedly shot in the face <laughs> by Bassard with his assault rifle. <laughs> yes, so, he's a right Bassard, that one. That, he is a terrible, <laughs> terrible Bassard. I'm going to start the bidding with, uh, I'm going to throw three points into movement, mm -hmm. two points into defence, mm -hmm. out of my five for my first. Yep. Uh, for the guy with the axe, he will also go with three mm -hmm. movement. So you're looking to get your your guys in as close to my guys as possible. Yeah. Uh, so the first turn, ranges are very short in this game. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody's restricted by line of sight, which is only 12 inches, unless you're lit up by one of the um, street lights that are kicking around. So mm -hmm. there's one there. Mm -hmm. So there's a little four inch bubble. And if you're in that, you can be seen by anyone. Mm -hmm. But if you're outside of that and you're in the dark, because everything happens in the dark in Gotham. Naturally. Um, it means people can't see you, so the first turn there might not be as much in the way of actual fighting. Yes. It could just be positioning. Yes. But then I do still have that option too. If I see somebody running into the light, flip a defense dice into attack and shoot you in the face. Yes, because you can reallocate your I can, dice. I can reallocate two of my pips. Yes, and that's because you your faction are mercenaries. Yep. And veterans as v well. Veteran mercenaries. Yep. Yeah. So there are certain statistics and uh, traits that each character has. Uh, one of them is veteran for Jerry, so he'll be able to mm. reallocate his dice. Mine have a couple of other traits, cop and undercover are two of the ones, so they get uh, certain benefits against criminals. Okay, so bit of move, bit of move, both with defense, and then my last guy, Bassard, is going to go for move with defense, but also one into special. Okay. And if I get the option, I can flip defense into attack. 
okay. and then that special allows me a precise aim, which means when he starts lobbing off with that assault rifle, he's Perfect. much better with it. So Perfect. So that's me ready to rock and roll. Okay, so mine's going to be pretty simple. Um, I'm terrified of the assault rifle, so I'm going to go into defense, really. <laughs> uh, into defense mode, but my guys can only uh, put two into movement, so I can actually maybe get a shot off. So I'll go for her. I will go. Actually, I'm going to go put into attack because she's got a pistol. And she does. Then, she even has a uh, additional ammo. Yes, yes, yeah. she does. And this is something else that's very interesting about this game. You don't have a huge amount of ammo. Whenever you fire, you essentially rip off a whole clip. Mm -hmm. um, so I only have two, essentially two shots for my assault rifle in the game. It's a six turn game, so that means four turns I won't be using it. Likewise, you would normally have, you've got two for your bear spray, your pepper spray. Uh, and she would have two for the handgun she has, except yeah. she's been bought an additional magazine. Yeah. So she actually has a slight advantage there with an additional shot. But it's yeah. not a, it's not a game where you're firing willy nilly every turn all the time. Yes. You've really got to pick your pick your targets. Yes. So uh, that's my allocation done. Uh, okay. Mostly defense. <laughs> mostly defense. Well, yeah. so it's one way of doing it. Try and uh, position myself. So is it onto yourself? It's onto me. Yeah. You're gonna yeah. Move? So since you forced me to uh, raise my plan first, I also am the first person to activate a model. Okay. So who wants it? Well, you all want it. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to get it is another matter. Uh, that's a very nice shot there, but I have a feeling you're probably outside of range. And you are outside of range. So, nice. so Mr. Bond, I think I'm going to start the bidding with my lovely fellow with the axe. He's just going to take his movement. Now, okay. I've put three into movement. Okay. Base movement of four, everybody gets that, but if you push additional pips into your movement, you get two inches for each one. Okay. So this will give him a full 10 inches of running, screaming at you with a fire axe, <laughs> which will actually get me up behind this tumbler. Oh, you go, oh, right, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, go big or go home. Ask the question early. <clears throat> I have eight points of damage to do, and I'm not going to do it hiding behind these buildings. True, so, true enough. So that's, that's him. Your go. Bring it. Okay. Um, what shall I do? Have you considered shooting one of your friends in the back? <laughs> we had a little practice game beforehand, yeah. and uh, <coughs> when uh, two units are in base-to-base -base contact and they can do melee damage, I decided I was going to help my friend out. By shooting at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was the guy one day from retirement. I was like, i got to make sure that he gets his rest, yes. hard-earned rest, and so I decided I'll shoot at the guy fighting him. And then we randomise yeah. who essentially who the target is. Yeah, see who who's going to get hit in the swirling melee. Yeah. And unfortunately, the guy two days from retirement yeah. got two shots in the back. Yeah, a couple of slip discs there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> Thankfully, he was wearing his bulletproof jacket. <laughs> Thankfully. Um, Sorry, bullet resistant. They don't call them bulletproof. Yeah, exactly. In case they get Bull sued because they're not bulletproof. <laughs> so what I'm thinking is I'm actually going to see if I can tech down uh, your axe wielding guy right there. Burgess? Yes, Burgess. Um, so I'm thinking if I take my policewoman with a gun around, yes. mm -hmm. will I avoid uh, it getting hit off the car, the bullets? You're trying to avoid ping, which, yes. is, a great, which is a great name for a, uh, a save. Yes, very 1960s Batman. Yeah, it's going yeah. ping. <laughs> Everything pings off. Uh, so yeah, you probably can't. You can't go through another model's volume. So mm -hmm. you can't go through the base. Ah, okay. Um, so I'll have to, so have have to kind go of round, but yeah, you should be. You have an eight-inch range, and you've got eight inches of movement there. So yeah. So you if have I go four here, <laughs> yeah, and then four here, yep, that'll avoid the worst of it. Yep, and that's square on. So square on, and I'm four inches from the lights. You're out of four inches, so you're not going to get a, a shot in the face as in retaliation. Indeed, yes. So mm. uh, I'm kind of scared of uh, your guy kind of lurking in the background here, actually. Oh, don't be scared of him. He's a uh, fluffy bunny. Fluffy bunny? Yeah. Is that the one with the assault rifle? No, that's the one with the handgun. Oh, okay. I don't need to be as scared of him then. No, I don't need to be okay. scared of him. So um, I've put two, I've uh, finished your movement. Yep. Uh, I've moved fully inches and now I'm going on to the attack. So I've put yep. two into that. If it was melee combat, you would get one dice for every pip. Mm -hmm. uh, but all, all handguns or any type of firearm requires two just to activate. So you're only going to get the one dice. Okay. If you, if you could oh, put yes, more in. Because I've moved yeah. and that brings my rate of fire uh, well, down. Well, it brings your rate of fire down, yeah. 
Mm -hmm. uh, but you need two in there to activate anyway. So, okay. So yeah, so one dice, and you're looking to beat my defense, and my defense is a super three. Wonderful. Okay. Wunderbar. All right. So here we go. Three. You will hit me. Okay. No ping. No ping. No ping. So I, I just get to straight up damage you. Yeah. Well, I've I've two defense, um, and ah. if that was a melee combat, I could attempt to block. Yes. But you can't block bullets unless you're Wonder Woman with those man braces. <laughs> Some people can dodge them, but unfortunately not. Not oh, him. Okay, that's grand. Uh, then I will roll this one and yep. anything else? <clears throat> no, because you're down yep. your rate of fire one. Ah, so okay, so I don't... Oh, so I, you still get your collateral damage dice. Hooray, yeah. okay. So I'm hoping for... What am I looking for over? Um, so firearms are two plus. Oh, right, okay. So but I'm, my bulletproof vest bullet resistant vest pushes that to a four <laughs> oh, so okay. four on the black dice okay uh fantastic let's and then see if we double up oh, and, oh that's excellent nothing, news excellent that's news terrible i'm not a fan of that <laughs> we so. do like that the white dice is called collateral damage okay. and it does two different things one is on a six it will do a critical stun damage so you okay. get an additional stun on top of anything else assuming you've mm -hmm. made one successful hit Yes. You don't get a free stun if you've actually not done any damage. And the other thing it does is if the dice comes up the same face, mm -hmm. let's actually move it to something that would be a hit. Um, let's say the dice came up like that, mm -hmm. you would actually knock down the person yeah. with the attack. So yes. in this case, it would be a knockdown. If they both came up sixes, it would be a knockdown and one additional stun. Oh, OK. Oof. Yeah. So collateral damage. It's great. And you've lost a bit of ammo. That's one magazine wasted. Oh, dear. I'm not feeling too hopeful. Oh, dear. So <laughs> On your activation next. My next activation, I'm going to go for Caesar. And Caesar's going to go. First thing Caesar's going to do is push two defense into attack. Yeah, you're real reallocating. reallocating for his veteran ability, and okay. then I'm going to use my movement. So any movement at all will reduce my rate of fire to one. So there's really no point in not going as far as I can uh, if sure. I'm moving. Sure. So in this case, I'm going to push him. Oh God. Ten inches will get me to about there. Okay. And then that's well within the eight inches for the shot. Brilliant. So I will take my single shot. Brilliant. He's an automatic gun. If he was standing still, that would be three. Three yes. shots from a Desert Eagle. No, thank you. No. No, thank you at all. Let's get rid of that. Uh, your defense for your uh, female officer. Uh, three. Three. No, not a hit. <laughs> not a hit. Next time, gadget, next time. <laughs> and it's back to yourself. Back to me. Um, fun fact, I've put everything into defense. Nice. So uh, I wish I'd put it all into attack. So oh, I'm that's... not entirely sure what I should do. I know I should... Your Veteran cop isn't really a veteran cop getting to reallocate. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. How useless. <laughs> so I'm wondering. You'd run away. I could, but where? Your guys have ridiculous range. So, well, assuming they can get up close enough to see you. True, true, uh, which would be 12 inches. Mm. So I could run this guy right up to the corner <laughs> over here and just hope that you're not going to be foolhardy enough to chase me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm worried about chasing a cop <laughs> in Gotham. <laughs> Whatever will I do? Maybe I should just go straight into melee. Do you know what? I want to I wanna bring this guy a little closer to the tumbler so he has covering fire against uh, yeah. your guy peeking around the corner there. Yeah. The so uh, he's got movement too, so he can move pretty much in there. And what I'll do is I'll hope for first activation Yeah. next time round. It's a nice hope. It is a nice hope. <laughs> I'm going to reallocate one of my defense dice into movement for okay. Bassard. So that's going to push him up to movement three and my defense down to one. And this has been fairly cagey, actually. Yeah. Um, although I suppose in our practice game, I ran my guy out as a decoy. Yeah. I, so like, please shoot at him so I can shoot at you. And then it backfired spectacularly. Spectacularly yeah. backfiring. We're all about the spectacular backfiring. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm just going to go to there. Right. So you're actually going to go below the lamp yeah. post. Now, uh, there is a thing you can do with lamp posts. Yes. Which is you can attempt to stab them smash them, punch ah. them, and you can actually knock them out. Oh, right, okay. As long as you do damage to it. Oh, okay, so you just need to do at least one damage. Do one damage and the okay. light goes out, which is great. I'm not going to do it. Um, <laughs> at least I'm not going to do it this turn. Next yeah. turn I might do it yeah. if, if standing under here is going to get me into a lot of trouble. But 
So that's the end of the first turn. It's the, oh, I still have one that. Oh, you've still got one that. Oh, right. I mean, oh. it's easy to forget the guy who's you know one oh, day from retirement. Bear spray boy. Yes, yes. Um, so again, everything's in defense. So I don't know whether to yell screaming at you, but there's no real point. He could get in, but there's no attack. So no. I don't know whether to engage you and stop you from using your assault rifle. Is what I'm thinking. I could potentially throw you away. Can you do that? There, there's grappling, uh, so pushing and pulling is, is doable. Right. Um, if you engage me in melee, so I might be able to get away from that one. Maybe. But you'd have to be spending. But, but I'd be spending my attacks next turn to do it. So I might do that. It's one of those things. Sacrifice him for the cause. Maybe Could do. He's got, he has bear spray. If he activates first, he can hose him down, so he can't actually fire next turn True. anyway. True. And a good thing is, if you mob up on people, yeah, um, you reduce the amount of incoming um, or you reduce the activations essentially and attacks and that sort of thing so, uh, okay. so getting people piled in yes. will just start pulling action points away and, and making it easier for you to down people yeah do you know what um, I need to get the first activation I'm hoping for the first activation so I'm just gonna yeah I'm just going to go in for him he's just not quite within it I can get to about there on him Okay. So I can move to about there. Certainly asking a question. So asking a question, that's about all I can do right mm. at the minute. So that's so that, that's, that's the that, turnover, yeah. yeah. Uh, there's no recovery to do this turn. Okay. Because nobody's got stuns or anything like that. Nobody's knocked down. Okay. It's been, uh, you say cagey, I say lackluster. <laughs> I expected more blood from the mercenaries early on, but you know, we'll see. True, true. Uh, I wasn't, yeah, yeah. Uh, missed the first shot. Now it's again, whoever's planning first. Tell me. Be lucky. Oh, not that one. Oh, that's oh, terrible. This oh, is, I get to pick. This is less good. Oh, I think I'll pick me. <laughs> I'll be the one to plan first. <laughs> oh, I'd like to put one into special, please. And then, ooh. A I'll, million I'll into put, attack. I'll put three into attack. And then, ooh, I'll put one into defense, because you never know. <laughs> Somebody might go for him. <laughs> and then we have Captain Bobbo. I'm going to say he's probably going to need one in movement to get into the female officer there. Okay. And then I'm just going to put four into attack <laughs> with his fire axe. <laughs> that might that might do a bit of work. I think you're probably going to go for, yeah, um, for that first, yeah. And then, well, you know, maybe. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. The, the thing is, in the position we're in, somebody's going to get one great shot off at somebody. Yes. And then their opponent is going to do the exact same to somebody else. Yes. So if I go for Lady Cop... Then Bassard will probably get hosed down with bear spray, <laughs> which may just make him mad. <laughs> so might not be an ideal idea. Yeah, it's uh, point blank as well that pepper spray. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, I might go for. I can put three into attack. So I go three into attack there. There's almost no point in moving uh, uh, because you're just you're everybody's within range. Well, it's apart from Axeman. Yeah. Two there. There we go. You may now make your selection. Uh, it's funnily enough, a lot of it's going to be defence. I thought uh, it might be. She's not even going to move, but she will attack if possible. If she doesn't die this turn, yeah, she'll attack. If she can get an activation off, she'll attack. Yeah. Um, oh, that's pepper spray. Do you want to put one in? To I can only put. Oh, I can put three in, and then I'm going to need some some movement don't feel like you have to um, but he will get four inches standard yeah so there's almost uh, almost no point in putting I'll put three in and then one in defense and then just in case one into movement and that's me okay dokie all right good great it's, who are you activating first <laughs> decisions, decisions. <laughs> it's really dance, shoot, dance puppets. Dance. It's where I, fish in a barrel. That's where I reallocate everything in the movement and pull them all back behind the building, <laughs> just out of badness because I can. Um, that would freak out the GCPD. I'd, uh, yeah. I'm going to have to. I, Bassard doesn't want to waste his time, so Bassard's going to activate first. He's going to shoot, so okay. there's his ammo token away. I'm going to spend his special uh -huh. to get precise aim which is a plus two to hit. Yeah. 
So that's quite good. Is he going point blank into the point, officer? Point blank into the officer with his MP, what's he got, HK? Something like that. Anyway, some yeah. some form of assault rifle yep. is about to come down on you. Wonderful. So three into attack. We barely well. knew you. We barely knew we, you. We really did. <laughs> so uh, plus two bonus to my ranged attack rolls. I cannot move. That's all right. Wasn't really planning on that. <laughs> so uh, put three into attack, which is probably overkill there, really. Okay. He's got... Oh, wait. This one I've put... Three defense into no wait. Well, three. but then three defense defense, yeah. defense only blocks melee attacks, so he's got a defense of three. Great. My Great plus two me. pushes that to a one, except ones always fail. Wonderful. However, you've seen my dice rolling. <laughs> yes, I have. So, <laughs> let's see. It's so rear fire three. Survey says. Oh. I was so lucky. Wow. I put precise aim in there. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my. Ooh. Oh so my indeed. Two hits. Two hits. Okay, he can't block. Um, he does have bulletproof vest, bullet resistant vest. Does he? Yes. Oh, I was hoping that was, I was hoping that was a maniac cop with a baton. Oh no, you're right. No, he doesn't. Of course, he doesn't have the bulletproof vest. No. The other guy with a manic baton has bulletproof vest. He would. So. And nobody else does. Oh great! Oh great! <laughs> so I need twos then for the damage rolls. Brilliant. Yeah. With my collateral. <laughs> It looks like you got them, yeah. I got them. I didn't get anything from my collateral, though, which is uh, terrible. Okay, okay. But they do three points of blood damage each. So that's six. six. So you've almost won in one shot. In one shot. Perfect. That is half of his attacks. From After this, he's just going to have to start beating people with the butt of his gun. <laughs> so if, if anybody's clever enough so, to stand still next turn. Yeah. Now, how much damage can a character take before they, uh, they shuffle off his mortal coil? They, they take a mixture of damage and stun up to their endurance. Okay. At which point they're knocked out. He is... If uh, that's all damage, yeah. he's dead. This guy is dead. 100% mm. dead. Oh, that's terrible, I feel. Feel for him. Feel for his family as well. Excellent. Okay, so... Um, he was only I'm one day from retirement. He <laughs> was, oh, was one day from one retirement. Day from retirement. <laughs> um, I will flip this over and he has, no, he has no more. Um, you can just throw him away, I suppose. I'll knock him down. Like knock this. him down. Knock him down. You can see where he is, his partner, unfortunately, a couple of days ago. Uh, yes. Was just gunned down horribly. <laughs> so... <laughs> So close to where his partner died. Partner was 35 years from retirement. Oh, well, yeah. that's not too bad. You're yeah. rookie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it is now your turn. I... <laughs> what do I even do? What do I do? No, there is, there is something that if one of my characters goes down, I can elect to say, oh, no, you can't move, or you can't activate you, a character. You can pass uh, at the start phase. Oh, so whenever, oh. the, whenever the plan's been made, if there's a difference in the amount of people, ah. you get that many passes that you can use during your turn, but it doesn't oh, okay. it doesn't trigger until the next start phase. Yeah. Oh, okay. You only need to do four points of damage. Only. <laughs> only. Only. Um, if I had to pick anyone, I would probably say the lady uh -huh. staying still and using her rate of fire too. She could, with a good dice roll, she could potentially yes. do half of that now. With a good dice roll. With a good dice roll. Uh, who's got the weakest defense on are these they two? Are, they're all the same, unfortunately. They're all defense three. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to go for the axe guy. Yeah. I feel I feel like... You feel like you don't want him charging and swinging a massive fire axe at you? I think he's going to do that anyway, yeah. but I want him to have some you know, bullet holes in his body. Well, that's good. Before he does that. So um, I will not move. I yep. will uh, attack. Yep. So you spend the two, mm -hmm. and that allows you to... Turf one of your ammo counters away and get whatever your rate of fire is. Uh, which she is an automatic gun. Is that three shots for a rate of fire? Three. The it is. Yeah. Yeah. So three. So you actually get three dice Ooh, to cool. hit. Excellent. And hitting on threes. Not bad. Let's see it. Bring it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Now, now you can see why my precise shot on twos was good. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was. Uh, You're channeling your inner me. I know. I was. I was just thinking that. You ro <laughs> I, just, I witnessed you rolling horribly, and it's it's terrifying. Like I feel so bad for you. Yeah. But now I don't feel so bad. <laughs> no, no, you wouldn't. You um, would. Well, that's that's that activation over for me. Okay. Who wants some? Be gentle. Clearly, Be cle gentle. <laughs> clearly you all want, and you're going to get it because you asked for it. Now. <laughs> I don't want Maniac Cop coming at me. Yes. I, I feel like Maniac Cop may impede me in he's, some way. He's my next. 
So he's my next target. So well, he's the only other guy you've got. Yes. Yeah. Yes. In, in that respect, um, I think Caesar is going to have to have a wee shot here. Okay. Yeah, I think that's best because if you if you wander in with the axe, yeah. Then. So, blew his attacks uh -huh. and blew his final ammo because okay. he's already spent one. So after that, oh, he's yes. just down to biffing gloves. Yeah. Biffing. See, so guns are great, but guns are only great for a very short amount of time. Yes. Yes. Uh, you are within eight, which is good because that's the, the short range for my gun. Okay. And I will get my rate of fire three because uh -huh. I'm not moving. Yes. I... And your defense for Maniac Cop? For Maniac Cop is three. Defense three. I love that he's Maniac Cop. Oh, all of them all hit. All three hit. All three of them hit. Now, he is the one with bulletproof vest. He is. So instead of twos, I need fours. Oh, no, wait, but that's only on bullets, is it? Yeah, which is fine. So oh, I'm, yes. I'm oh, I thought it was, yeah. for a second, I thought it was yeah. melee combat. Yeah. No, no. no. Um, You're good. So You're fours. Good. So fours. And I have defense, actually. Only, only, only works melee. for melee. Yeah. Okay. Oh. So two actually fail to do anything. Uh huh. But you do take one, which is worth uh, one stun and one blood. Oh, dear. One stun and one blood. Uh, yep. So you're one away. And then the collateral? And the collateral means you're knocked down. Wonderful. So, so, so the first action point he'll have to spend will be to stand up. The other important thing is anytime you take two damage tokens, whether they're stun or blood, it doesn't matter which, Yes. you automatically lose an activation counter from you. Wonderful. So, so you're going to be down by an activation counter and you're going to have to spend one to get up as well. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to spend my defense. That's the one that's going to get rid of for the for, for, for losing the damage. One. Yeah. For the damage. Yeah. Right. Um, and then it's his activation anyway. Mm. So I have to actually make it to you. So I can't get rid of my movement. Mm. So I'm just going to uh, yep. get rid of one of the attacks. Yeah. Stand him up. Mm. Um, and then I know he has the movement to get to your axe maniac. But I also want to... Oh, no, he doesn't hide. He doesn't have the movement to get to him, but he has the movement to get to the Axe Maniac. Yes. And he's going to he's gonna shoot first. Yeah, so he's going to wander up and have a couple of swings. Go on, then. All right. So next time, <clears throat> one dice per attack for Malie. So you're going to yep, get two so attacks. Got two, yep. and what am I hitting on? Hitting on three? threes, yeah. Defense three. Uh, do you have... Please tell me you don't have defense in that guy. Um, on... Maniac? No, he went all axe. <laughs> Brilliant. He's got, oh, he's gone four for attack in melee. Fantastic. Well, it, should, uh, that, it should only be three. Pardon me. Oh, right. Because he's okay. going to go up to three. That's grand. Okay. Because I'm uh, not counting properly. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that's a bad miss. I've never, I've never rolled so bad in my life. No. That, uh... You should ask to be kept away from me in some sort of bubbly suit. I think, so. I think we've had a Freaky Friday yeah. um, event has happened here. Well, well, all right then. Ravish me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get an offer like that every day. So I will. So I'm going to take my three attacks. Yeah. And um, Burgess there with his axe. Yes. Burgess has got an axe which is heavy, which gives him plus one to strength on damage rolls. Wonderful. And handy. Which means he can re-roll misses. Yeah. Your defense is? Uh, my defense is three. Our survey says I don't need the re-roll. <laughs> Six, no. a five, and a three. Oh, you've no defense. You can't even block this. Oh, yeah, I had oh, to get rid terrible. of my defense to swing and miss you uh, twice is what had to happen. That is terrible. I feel so bad. <laughs> Do not feel bad. This could potentially kill him. <laughs> I think so. What? He's going to take, because how much damage does it, what does it do on a successful damage? It's two blood. <laughs> so <laughs> my strength is five up. So my plus one for my axe pushes me to four. So four wow. is to wound. RIP in pieces, GCPD. Ooh. Almost nothing. One. So he takes two. Takes two. Takes two blood, which loses him another activation the next turn. Activation and, well, well, crucially... An, an action point. Yeah. An action point. And crucially, loses me the game. Um, that's, that's the that's, scenario. That's your, that's your eight done. That's, that's the eight done. You got six on day from retirement, guy. Oh, dear. And three more on... So you, you got one more than you needed to. Mm. Uh, you overachiever, you. <laughs> 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 that was... Devastating. Oh, devastating, yes. I yeah. was utterly ravished. Um, Maybe we'll break out uh, Batman and, and the... Uh, yeah, he's just quite solemnly watching from a balcony yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. He is. He's just here, <laughs> looking 
very, very lost and alone. In fact, we'll just put him over here to look down at the poor GCPD and wonder <laughs> what's happening. Oh, that's right. He went into retirement for eight years. Yeah, yes, that's, that's what happened. Oh, my God, Alfred. <laughs> bring me my soup. Everyone's dead. <laughs> um... Oh, that, guys, that was the first scenario of Batman Miniatures game. Mm. Tell us what you think in the comments. Uh, could I have done anything better or could I have moved better? I, I, I don't know if, if better is the case. Or you know, just, It is, after all, just a training scenario. It is teaching you how combat works. So indeed. Every, every scenario in the, the starter set adds another level to the rules. Yes. So the next scenario is actually the three mercenaries against... Catwoman and Batman. Oh, right, okay. So, uh, and it introduces then all their special uh, bits of flim flam and grapple hooking to the wall, and jumping credit, off gargoyles, bat credit cards, <laughs> bat credit that type of thing, yeah. bat shark bat, repellent. Yeah, sometimes yeah. you just can't get rid of a bomb. That's it. <laughs> which is how I imagine he finished that uh, that film as he went and the bat pod thing out over the ocean. Yeah, that's it. Some days you just can't get rid of a nuke. I always like to think that's how it was, how, how Chris Nolan tied the entire series together. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah it makes from, sense to me. Yeah, that's it. We'll leave your comments uh, down below and if you can send me some better dice, I would much appreciate them. See you later. We hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.